Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Lacey Lavelle and today I wanted to come to you guys and talk to you about my weight loss journey, my vegan weight loss journey and my progress so far. It is so bright, I'm sorry. <laughs> it is so bright. I just sat here like five minutes ago and it wasn't this bright. Anyway, <sighs> y'all, it has been a journey. So I'm going to go back to when I started. I started my weight loss journey uh, December 26th, the day after Christmas, because I wanted to eat all the holiday stuff, all my favorite holiday foods. And Honestly, I didn't know where I was going to begin with my weight loss journey. I didn't know what I was going to do to achieve the goals that I was setting out to achieve. I just knew that I needed a change. I had gone up to 202 pounds and I couldn't believe it like I couldn't believe it I became a flight attendant last year and I've been flying for a year and that is such a major adjustment like such a lifestyle change and I was eating everywhere that I went drinking and just really enjoying my layovers and I was treating my layovers like vacations and Truth be told, your layovers are not vacations. Your layovers are work still. So that, and then I lost my grandmother. And it was like so much going on during last year that I just completely, I lost myself. I lost myself. And I went all the way up to 202 pounds. And now I'm down 27 pounds. And... Even when I say it, it's like December 26th, you couldn't tell me that I would be here right now. And even though a lot of days, most days I'm hard on myself, I'm still like, I can't believe that I'm here. So uh, first I'm going to tell you like what I did to kick off my weight loss journey because I was not motivated at all. Um... I got down and I prayed and I was just like, God, I want change. And I don't know where to start. I don't know how I'm gonna be successful. And I just pray that you would send me the inspiration, the encouragement, uh, the people that I need around me. Uh, educate me, help me. And I asked for joy along the journey, right? Because I was like, if I'm going to do this and if I'm going to be successful, it has to be fun for me. And believe it or not, my next work trip, I think like everybody was on their own health journey. Everybody had um, some insight to give and were eating pretty healthy and weren't eating food on a plane and all that stuff. And I was like, wow, that was quick. And um, so my first trip. I had already decided that I kind of was thinking about going vegan. So that first trip, I was talking to someone. And I don't know if she was vegan or not, but I know she had been vegan uh, previously for years. And she was just informing me. And she was like, listen, dairy, it's not good for you, sis. You know, like she encouraged me in that area. And I was like, you know what? I can do without dairy. Like I can do without dairy. That's probably been the hardest part of the beginning of my journey because I love cheese. So I wanted like mac and cheese so bad. Like I just wanted cheese. I love cheese. I love uh, goat cheese, cheddar cheese, American Swiss. I love cheese. I was like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to do this, though. I'm going to do it. And, okay, so I got rid of everything. Like, literally, I became vegan overnight. And I wish I could remember this first young lady on YouTube that I saw. And she was like, this is what I did. And she looked good, and her skin looked good. And I was like, okay, that's inspiration because you know as women we a little bit vain and i was like all right like i want my skin to be popping and i want my i want my body to look good like she had on a sports bra and leggings all she's you know but she was slim she was real slim and i was like 
sis. I don't know if I'm gonna get that slim, but it's all right. But then I was like, okay, I needed help with food because I'm a foodie. Like I didn't want to sacrifice good food for this journey. Like I wanted to still have those, I was about to say orgasmic, but really good experiences when I eat something that's really good. Like, you know, so I ran across Rachel Ama. I don't know if it's Ama or Ama, but I think it's Ama. And y'all, that was the beginning of the end. I was like, man, look at all this food that she's creating. And then I ran across, um, oh gosh, I forgot her name. But she's also, also vegan. Oh man, I forgot her name. I'll slip it in if I if I remember her name. I'm so sad I forgot her name. But and then there's um gosh. Well, I'm forgetting everybody. Tabitha Brown. And then there's Tabitha Brown, and I was like, you know what? Like there's these women out here and they're killing it. And I wanted, and this might sound crazy, but I wanted women that physically and like that look like me or come from a background like me that that come from fried pork chops, macaroni and cheese, candy hams, like collard greens, chitlins. I'm not a chitlin girl, but I mean like from family that eat like that, that transitioned into this lifestyle that could tell me like, sis, you can do it. And that encouraged me like out of this world. I thought this was gonna be a short video, but I'm guessing that it's not, so sorry. Um, yeah, so I decided that, okay, I need a community because nobody around me eats like this. So I went on Facebook and I found groups to be a part of where, you know, people came from the same background as me. So I'm, you know, a uh, black and vegan, uh, soul sisters, vegan soul sisters, where they were recreating the food that I was used to. And I was like, all right, like I can do this. And now I've been like making different meals, like especially when I want a comfort meal. I'll like recreate it, you know? And before I knew it, like the weight started coming off. And of course I wanted to look better in my clothes. You know, everybody wants to see it on the outside first. But then it became more so about feeling good in my body and eating things that make me feel good. You know, I have something on my um, fridge that says, uh, if I feel good, I look good. And um, I eat food that makes me feel good. And that's important. Like, that. that's so important to me. And I, oh, I remember, like, one phase for me was um, energy. And this is going to sound crazy. I don't know why I was on this whole wave, but this is what I was feeling. I'm like... When these animals are killed, you know, they're in agony, they're in pain or whatever. That energy is transferred to me when I eat it. I don't know, sis, but that helped me out. Cause I was like, I don't need no more uh, of that energy. I don't need any more negative energy. I, I'm trying to be, you know, on up and up from here on out. So, um, that was one thing. <laughs> That was, that was weird. I don't know why I threw that in there. But I was like, I need food that's going to make me feel alive. I need food that's going to make me feel great. I need food that's going to make me look great. Um, Rachel Ama did a video on her skin when she took her makeup and stuff off. And, and she was doing a video and I'm like, damn, your skin looks so good. Because I go through rough patches with this skin. And especially like... Since I went vegan, like my skin has, you know, completely did a 360. However, I'm going to say this. I noticed since I've been eating more comfort food and more processed food, 
um my skin isn't as popping as when i was just eating raw because at one point y'all i was just eating raw fruit raw vegetables like i wanted it more than i wanted my next breath it was i was hungry uh you know for my results and now wow as i'm saying that i'm thinking like maybe that's why i'm at a standstill because i've been 27 pounds down for like a month and a half and it's like i've been maintaining um where i am but i haven't lost anymore in you know this quarantine like in the beginning of this quarantine i had lost like another five to seven pounds or something like that and now i'm just like at a standstill and it's like all right i have to i have to do something so anyhow i had given up like i didn't have any rice in my house um i had bread but bread for my son to have like his peanut butter and jellies or whatever but i i went all in <laughs> Like the next morning, I was just like, mm -mm, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I just wanted it. I went and I signed up for the gym and then I was going to the gym every day. Like every day that I could go to the gym, I was in the gym. And not that I love them. Let me tell y'all what I, what I did. I made a commitment to myself that I'm going to go until I feel bad for not going. I learned um, during this journey that I'm not going to feel motivated every day. I'm not going to feel like encouraged every day. I have to rely more on my drive and my determination than I rely on feeling like doing it, you know? And once I started seeing like the change in my clothes and stuff like that i was like oh man like this is really happening and i think for a lot of us when we're on this whole journey like you see it but you don't see it because you see yourself every day it's like you take your results for granted and that's i think that's where i've been coming to more so lately than before and some mornings i wake up and i'm like i feel like i need to go harder today and then other days i wake up and i'm like i haven't seen results in weeks what I'm doing is not working. You know, like you, you have your days, but I'm here to tell you, you have to, I, I used to say, you gotta stay motivated. No, you have to stay driven. You have to stay um, reliant upon drive or not drive. How can I put it? You just have to will yourself to do it. like. I don't feel like doing it. I don't want to do it. But these are the results I want. And I'm not settling for anything less. I'm not settling for anything less. I'm not settling for not feeling good in my body. I'm going to tell y'all this. I was having like my knees were bothering me so much. My knees. And I, I didn't even think about it. You know, when I went to the doctor, I told to the doctor, and she did, you know, just like an annual physical or whatever, and she was like, your knees are not going to be any good, you know, in the years to come if you don't start working on that part of your body and just working on you. And she just started talking to me like, like not even like a doctor, like just like a sister, like, all right, it's time. I was like... No more excuses. No more excuses. When I'm walking through the airport and trying to get through the airport and I have, you know, I've had the, the little hills because it was so much weight on my knee and so much weight on my feet to be running through the airport in regular three inch hills. And I was like, I can't do that. And I'm like, I'm too young. I'm 33. You know, so I'm just working on it so december 26th to now i we're in quarantine y'all i can't even remember what today's date is but like i won't give up and neither should you 
And I don't care if you only down five pounds, six pounds, seven pounds, it's progress. It's progress and progress is progress. You know, I'd rather be here than where I was on December 26th, any day, any day. And I'm gonna keep going. I just wanted to come and share that with you. And I think that I'm gonna be sharing more about this journey to keep myself accountable. And if you want me to share some of my meals or whatever, I don't mind doing that. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave your questions in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer. Um, and hit that notification bell. If you wanna hear more from me, see more of what's going on with me, stick around. Thank you for watching. Bye.